Hi guys, so I was making pancakes for breakfast and I realized like maybe you guys want to see how to use a shaped pancake maker and this is an egg maker it says, it's from Daiso. But you know the picture is of a pancake and there are these pancakes, um, Japanese pancakes I guess, that are super thick and really yummy and I don't know if you can tell but this guy is a little bit thick. He's probably ready to come off the thing here. So what I'm going to do is finish up making breakfast for the kids. But look how thick and then he's nice and puffy. Um, and then I'll show you guys how to make one with just one of the, with just one of the um, molds here, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, so I like to use a griddle to make pancakes because I can't, uh, any other way I burn them, so that's just how it is. But I do have it set on about 350. This is a Bella Presto. They're all the same type of griddle. Um, so it's not on the very highest, but close enough. And I just put a little bit of oil. So what I did was on a plate, I just put a little bit of oil in it. The first pancake I did, I grabbed some oil just on my finger and I kind of rubbed it around the inside of this, even though it's silicone, just to keep things from sticking. And then it has a little stick. Now, I mean, you can just pop it up. That's fine. And then take your um, pancake mix. And this one's kind of thick. I get it from Food Network. I think it's called Pete's from Scratch Pancakes. I'll have a link to it because they're really good. And I put a little banana in it today, but I just followed the recipe. I didn't make it any thinner or thicker or anything like that. Oops, I put the wrong side down first, but you know what? That's okay. It still works. So basically, I fill it up about a third of the way, and then I kind of help this go in here. Now I'm over here showing you guys like a tutorial, and I should have... <laughs> Um, it has a thicker ridge on the top that should be facing down right now, but it didn't come out anyway So I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna let it cook and once it starts really bubbling and I don't know if you can see the thickness of that it's About maybe halfway Yeah, third halfway full um, We're gonna let it bubble just like pancakes do until it starts getting lots and lots and lots of Bubbles on the top and looks almost like a matte sheen a Matte sheen I know but like right now it's super shiny But you want it to be a little bit um, drier looking and then we're gonna flip it Okay, we're almost there. I wanted to just show you how it's getting bubbly and look how much it's risen. So it's just slow and low and let it keep okay, going. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I don't know if that's how you do it or not because this thing does turn and so I'm like, I wonder why. But so what I did is I'm just holding it here and I laid this thing down because as you see, as it's moving, it's still soft. Like it's still kind of liquid on the top. So I went ahead and laid that thing down a little more. And then I'm going to take my spatula and actually get under it and just flip the whole thing. And that works perfectly. So I'm assuming that's why that's that way, I don't know. But look how nice and cooked that is on top. And then I just leave it alone because it's going to fall through. And then maybe after like a minute or so, I'll, I'll remove this. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I just kind of carefully get in here and just dislodge the thing. And you can bring the little arm back up. But like I said, initially... <laughs> That thicker ridge should be at the bottom and then this on the top, but it's not really a big deal. It's still kind of hot. Just because silicone does not mean it doesn't get hot. <laughs> and there it is. So you have your little shaped pancake, super thicker than a normal pancake. Hopefully you can kind of see that maybe if I can show you from the side. And I asked my son, I said, did you think anything different? Because he had a regular one and a Mickey one. And he said, no, it's just a little thicker. It tastes the same, but just kind of different, you know? <laughs> so, super cute. If I knew it was going to take so long to make each one, I would have got two or three of those molds, but um, there they are. So thanks for watching, guys, and just top it just the way you do anything else. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.